USDA certified. It is the label that everyone looks for when they're spending extra money on organic produce. Shoppers might think that somebody somewhere put their stamp of approval on it, assuring customers that the produce is indeed pesticide free. However, the Contact 5 investigators have found out that no testing measures have been put in place ever since Congress made it a law 22 years ago. It hasn't been done in this country, and it hasn't been done with produce imported from other countries either. Apples, bell peppers. Organics have grown. Carrots, pears. Into a multi-billion dollar industry. I feel like it's a better health option. Even with no studies to back that up. I think they taste more fresh. People are willing to pay 20 to 30 percent more for organic. I'd rather be safe anyway and just put something that doesn't have pesticides in my body. By definition, Organic does not mean chemical free. Will Sumner has been a chemist for more than 35 years. It just means that they're grown without the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. He tests produce for the government. That doesn't mean that they're not toxic. So is the more expensive organic food we buy safer than conventionally grown? Congress tried to ensure safety when it passed the Organic Foods Production Act of 1990. It requires the U.S. Department of Agriculture to test organic produce and oversee third-party certifiers all around the world. We're talking imports. But for 22 years now, that mandated routine testing hasn't happened. The inspector general did this audit in 2010. That's when the USDA found out his agency had never set up any testing procedures as required by law. The Contact 5 investigators joined with 10 of our sister stations across the country. We went to various stores and focused on imported organic produce. We bought a wide variety, each station buying different products. Here in Florida, we bought mini pumpkins, blackberries, and cantaloupe. Each sample from across the country was then shipped overnight to the same certifying lab in California. In all, the lab tested 33 different types of imported organic produce for us. Our results? 12% of it had pesticide residues. An additional 10% had trace amounts. So where did the chemicals come from on the produce? Sumner says some farmers do use chemicals when they're not supposed to. But more often than not, contamination comes from the soil where toxic chemicals like DDT were possibly used decades ago. There's also cross-contamination. There's a lot of different compounds out there, and these are all drifting in different directions. All of our organic produce that tested positive for residues came from Mexico. Yellow squash, tomatoes, the mini pumpkins that we purchased all had different amounts of pesticides and would have been allowed for sale by USDA's organic standard. The fresh basil, meanwhile, had a fungicide, which Sumner said wasn't legal for organics, and the FDA would have made all retailers pull that product from shelves. Well, the good news in all of this is the government is finally now setting up some testing. The Contact 5 investigators found the USDA is now requiring testing on 5% of operating farm both here and abroad with the general goal of preventing residues and meeting consumers' expectations.